Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on introduction to machine learning using scikit-learn. This is chapter 6 and in this particular chapter we will talk about our first machine learning algorithm called linear regression. In this chapter we will not only understand what is linear regression but also understand how we can invoke machine learning functionalities that is provided by scikit-learn to use not only linear regression but also other algorithms. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So linear regression is a supervised learning method for predicting the regression values based on the learning prior data which has a linear relationship. So don't bother about this definition, we will understand as we go through. Now to work with any machine learning algorithm, we need data. And there are lots and lots of data available outside. But in this particular case, I have decided to generate our own data with just five to six point so that we can actually understand and see how linear relationship actually exhibited by those data points and how my machine learning model is working on those data. So I highly recommend you to use this data set for your learning, at least for the initial learning. Here is how our data set looks like. This data set is all about farm products and its price at different location distance in miles. So this data set is all about a farm product which is produced by a farmer and wherever it is being sold and the distance of the place where it is being sold from the farmer's place. So for example, local farm market, which is four miles from farmer's place, the same thing you can buy for $10. In village, which is 12 miles from the farm, you can buy the same thing for $28. Town, which is 25 miles, you can buy the same for $54. City, which is 52 miles from the farm, you can buy the same thing for $84. And downtown, which is 60 miles from the farm, you can buy the same thing in $90. Now we have this data, let's generate our x-axis and y-axis value and you might have guessed that x will be distance in miles and y will be price. Now let's import NumPy. You might be asking why I am importing NumPy. See NumPy is the backbone of any machine learning and data science in Python programming language. If you are not comfortable with NumPy, I will highly recommend you to go ahead and see my video chapter 4.1 about NumPy. Okay. Now I am creating two NumPy array with x distance and y price. Okay. And here is how it looks like. Now. I have created an array which is a horizontal array but remember what I have told you in my previous chapter that in machine learning especially with scikit-learn or for that matter with any machine learning algorithm we represent one dimension data not as a horizontal set of data but as a vertical set of data that is a column vector. So we need to change this a row vector into a column vector. Now you might be remembering from my numpy video that we can call a reshape function so if I say reshape five row and one column, I'll get this data. But let me tell you one thing. Does this change the original data or it returns a changed data? Let's go ahead and print the original distance again. You can see that it is still the horizontal data, okay? So to change the actual dimension of a NumPy array, you can change the shape directly as five one. And in this case, the data will change to a column vector. This is one of the trick of NumPy arrays if you want to change the dimension without creating a new NumPy array out of a existing one. Same thing for Y shape. Here is the price. Now let's plot this X and Y to see how it looks like. I will use matplotlib. Again, go back to my chapter 4.2 if you are not comfortable with matplotlib by plot. So here is how I will just plot it. You can see that this is distance in miles from the farmer's place and this is price at the location, okay? Now, first we will use linear regression mechanism from scikit-learn, then we will decode how it works. So, to use linear regression, we need to import something called linear regression from linear model and to understand how our linear regression algorithm is performing, we need to import something called mean squared error from the matrix. Okay, don't worry about that. I will tell you each and everything about these two things. Okay, now one very, very important thing, the unified machine learning interface for scikit-learn. The best thing about scikit-learn is that it provides a uniform interface 
for almost all of the machine learning algorithm, not only for linear regression. So to do a machine learning, you just need to call three lines of code. The three lines of code will be you create the instance of the algorithm. You call the fit function. This is the function where the training happens. And then when you want to predict, you call the predict function. That's all. For linear regression, I'm calling the same thing. For KNN, I'll call the same thing as you will see in my later videos. That's all we will do with scikit-learn. So let's see how we can use linear regression. I create the instance of linear regression. Of course, there are various parameters I can provide, but for this particular case, I believe defaults are good enough. Created an instance of linear regression. I am calling the linear regression dot fit method. This is the place where the training is actually done. Now we have our machine learning model. Let's use the same to predict the values. Now I want to know that what will be the price at the 45th mile. Now remember, I don't have 45 in my list. I have 25, 52, but not 45. But I want to know what will be the price at 45th mile if the same things is being sold at 45th mile. Now again, we need to convert this into a column vector, pass the same into predict function and see the prediction. It says that $73.26 will be the price at 45th mile. Now let's see the predictions by plotting against the original points. So if I go ahead and plot that, you can see that in 45th mile, I'll get it for $73. And from the look of this particular graph, this looks okay, right? You can see that, okay, okay, looks like this is the right price at that particular point. Now you can also predict for multiple values. Here are set of values much more than training values and I am just creating a column vector out of it and I am passing this column vector in predict function and I'll get the prediction for all of them at 10th mile 24, at 80th mile it's 122, at 100th mile it's 149 and so on, right? Now let's plot against the original values. You can see that, I mean, the training data was still 60 miles or what? Let's see, what was the last training data is 60 mile, correct? But I'm asking the price for 100 miles. So it looks like it's giving me a linear relationship kind of data, okay? Now, let's understand what linear regression does. Linear regression attempts to find the best fit line, generally a straight line for training data set. Straight line, especially if there are only two points, okay? Now, what is the meaning of best fit? Best fit is defined as the line with least mean square error. Remember, we imported mean square error and that's the reason why we have imported mean square error because we wanted to check what is the performance of our linear regression algorithm, okay? Now, before I go ahead further, let me tell you something. Linear regression doesn't mark up something but learn from the training data, which means that if I gave a training data saying that at 10th mile, your price is $12, and if I ask the model to predict the price at 10th mile, it may or may not be $12 because it doesn't remember from training data. It doesn't remember that, oh, training data uh, 10th mile was there, so I'll give this answer. No, it comes up with a model. So no matter whether you give the original training points or some new point, it uses that model to fetch the prediction. It doesn't remember your training data values. This is very important to understand. Why I'm telling this? Because mean square error can be calculated only when we know what is the correct data and we can compare with the prediction. To know mean square error, we know that we already have training data and we have the prediction data or we can predict the data from the training model. Let's do the same and compare the difference between these two. Now let's first predict the original data points. This is what my prediction looks like. And if I go ahead and plot against the original data points, you can see that red is original data points. These two points are relatively near. This is bit far and this is bit more far. So mean square error is difference between original value and the value predicted by the model and is squared. It's squared because uh, if there is a negative, it will come to a positive value. So let's calculate mean square error. Mean square error can be calculated by passing the original value and the predicted value. And I got the mean square error as 26. Now 26 is the best mean square error for this particular value set 
by using linear regression. So if you do a linear regression calculation on your own, the best mean square error you can come with is 26. Now I will stop here in this particular video because in next video I am going to cover the maths behind linear regression and how it works. So remember to check that video but before that what I want you to go with this set of data I will upload these things in my github page. Just change these data do some permutation and combination understand how it works. Once you understand how it works it's easy for us to do our own set of linear regression to find it what actually is being done by uh, scikit-learn behind the scene okay so that's all for this particular video guys please 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 do try out few things in next video i will tell you all the mathematics behind linear regression algorithm okay and we will create our own implementation of linear regression in the next video Till then, thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks a lot.